Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee. With today's video, we're going to talk about the continued shakeup of the future of Star Wars Disney Plus live action series. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Greetings, Exalted Ones. Greetings to all you Jedi, Padawans, and Younglings out there. This is Star Wars Coffee, covering everything you need to know about the latest developments, news, and leaks in Star Wars, and as always, giving you my analysis. While The Mandalorian is landing on October 30th to Disney+, Plus, that's a Friday. Friday, October 30th, The Mandalorian Season 2 will begin Chapter 9, streaming. And that is excellent news, but we also have some more Disney Plus news for Star Wars that we're going to be diving into today. It seems that the continued shakeup between Kenobi and the Cassian series is just ever going at this point. We know that the Bad Batch series that's being animated seems to have no issues as they have no need. They can really do most of their work remotely. However, Deadline's released two exclusives, and we also have some Bespin Bulletin and Jordan Mason information that I'm going to tie together for you guys. So... What this suggests is that Disney is still trying to figure out exactly how to get on track with the filming and production schedules of both Kenobi and the Cassian series. They're clearly trying to figure out the best way to do this. And this, take a look at this. So we have this tweet from Jordan Mason. Once upon a time when things were on track and scheduling hadn't been completely upended, I'd heard that Cassian would debut in early spring with Kenobi following on in early fall or late summer. Wonder if that'll be the new plan for 2022. So what this suggests is that this was supposed to be landing on 2021. So this was supposed to be landing next year. And if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you will recall that Kenobi was supposed to start filming in August. And then it got pushed back to next year to January. And then it got pushed back even further to March. And now they're supposedly doing some preliminary filming of just like cityscapes and things like that for uh, this month in September. So... The, the scheduling and the filming has been pushed back dramatically, not only for Kenobi, but also for Cassian too, as it would suggest, continuing, continuing that they were going to be using the same crew. So Bespin Bulletin took note of that and responded with the following. They were touring summer slash fall 2021 up until the delay for Cassian. I believe Cassian is filming until July 2021. Kenobi should wrap around the same time, maybe a month later. And the reason that they should be wrapping up maybe a month later is because they're supposedly going to be using the same crew since they're both going to be filming in what apparently appears to be somewhat similar locations. So, and then they continue with the following. So yeah, spring, summer, and fall seems right for Star Wars Disney Plus stuff in 2022. Exciting times. So essentially all of this does is put everything and it shifts it back another year, which we already know that they're still trying to figure out all of their plan. So all of the theatrical releases as well, the live action movies, they had the three slated, and now they have all also been pushed back to year. So everything is being pushed back to year. The only thing that doesn't seem to be pushed back a year is the Bad Batch series because that was never a set timeline that we had revised at this point. So those are pretty much set to go after a rewrite earlier. Now focusing on the Clone Wars, you can go check out the channel for the Kenobi series on that. And we also got two exclusives from Deadline talking about the Cassian show, one of which includes a new cast member. So, Adria Arona is set to star opposite Diego Luna in Disney Plus' Star Wars series, based on the Cassian Endor character played by Diego Luna in the 2016 spin-off film Rogue One. So, a Disney spokesperson has declined to comment, but Tony Gilroy, who co-wrote Rogue One A Star Wars Story, is set to write the pilot for the series in addition to directing multiple episodes. The untitled show focuses on rebel agent Andor prior to the events of Rogue One in the early days of the rebellion against the Empire. The show had been described as a spy thriller when plans for it were first revealed last year. It was also previously announced that Luna would return as Endor while Alan Tudyk is set to reprise his role as K2SO, the droid's psychic. Character details of who Adria will be playing are currently unknown. And what I wanted to take a look at this, this is actually back from August. I was just waiting for a good time to put this in with some more of the filming stuff that I knew would be coming down the pipeline. If you take a look at this, Tony Gilroy, who co-wrote Rogue One, is set to write the pilot for the series in addition to directing multiple episodes. Another Deadline exclusive, Black Mirror's Toby Haynes to direct Rogue One spinoff series at Disney Plus as Tony Gilroy steps aside as director. So like I said, you may have all of these filming dates continue to be pushed back even further given the fact that they still are unclear of the crew, the directors, and everything. 
and this is mainly referring to Cassian. We know that Deborah Chow was set to do the Kenobi series, and given the fact that that is a standalone season with six episodes, supposedly the length of feature films, there's not going to be much of an issue there, especially given the fact that um, Deborah Chow has already done her two episodes on Mando in season one. So, as Disney Plus prepares to start the production on a Rogue One spinoff series, it will be doing so with new director, as sources tell Deadline. Toby Haynes will helm the first three episodes, replacing Tony Gilroy. Sources say Gilroy dropped off as director for travel reasons. He lives in New York and had to make a decision quickly on whether he would head over to the UK for the shoot. In the end, he thought it would be best that he stay in New York and Haynes take over his directing duties. Haynes was already on the high list of directors who would helm future episodes, and since he also was already in the UK, this would make the most sense. Gilroy will stay much involved with the series as executive producer and showrunner. So what this is, is just a director change. But what I, so why I say that is Tony Gilroy still penned the series, as far as we know, and is still going to be the showrunner, much like John Farrow is essentially the showrunner for The Mandalorian. So, the continued and ever-changing circumstances surrounding these two shows is a bit, a, a bit concerning. However, with the fact that they keep getting pushed back, it, it can't really be that concerning since hopefully these days are set, and if they're set, then I don't worry about it. But if they continue to get moved, I'm going to get, get further concerned about it. But let me know what you guys think about all of this news in the comment section down below. What do you think of all these ever-changing circumstances? I know that they're a bit much. Especially for this Cassian series, which I know that there is low fan enthusiasm at this point, as it seems that fans are really more excited for Kenobi, given the fact that Ewan McGregor is such a big property in his own right, and the fact that he is going to be helming his own Kenobi series set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope which is in that George Lucas era of the prequels in the original trilogy. So it just gives this entire idea that George is hopefully going to have some type of impact on this. But again, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget Do to subscribe. It. If you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.